Hey guys, welcome to ITLearn 360. And in today's tutorial, we are going to talk about traceability metrics, which is a really, really important concept as a QA, as a BA, as using Jira, we should know about it. So let us start this tutorial. So let's go to our Software Testing Academy and under Jira for Software Testers, we have the topic traceability metrics. Okay, guys. So here in we explained more in detail as well. And the complete process is already mentioned too. But what I'm going to tell you first, let us understand what is traceability metrics and then we'll move forward. We'll see in Jira how it works as well. Okay. So ultimately, traceability metrics is something which we use to, you know, get that is every requirement is covered or not. Okay. So for the particular requirement, we see that for this requirement, did we took any action or not. Let's say we have 100 issues or 100 tasks, okay? And there is a possibility that we might can miss any one issue or two issues, right? So with the help of traceability metrics, we can easily trace or track that if, if we miss or skipped any requirement by any mistake, okay? Now, let me show you this thing with example in Jira. So I'm going to use one of the project, which is, uh, going to give us a very good example. So in this project, we worked a lot and uh, let us come directly. So for generating traceability metrics, we have to go to the first squad. From there under reporting section, we can see traceability metrics and into traceability metrics, it will allow us to get traceability report in two types, either requirement to defect or defect to requirement. So Requirement to defect is the type in which we focus mostly on the requirement, which is user story. In defect to requirement, we majorly focus on the defect. So I'm trying to go for the story issue. Let me search. So we have around total 13 issues. Let me select all. And then I will select what type I'm trying to generate. So I'm generating requirement to defect and I hit generate. Now let it load and after loading, it will give me complete, you know, traceability matrix report that how many requirements are covered and how many did not. So if you observe here, this is completely covered. This is completely covered. How I'm knowing because this was a story. We did test case, we executed and the defects we also wrote down. If I scroll down, now you can see here that this is something which is blank. So most probably this is something which is mixed, missed. Now it is possible that it is uh, coming or appearing blank because our, you know, tester or our QA team, they didn't make sure to link the box or to link the issues with each other. So that is the possibility there as well. So that is how, you know, the traceability concept work. If they did work over it, then they have to link it. So it will appear here. And right now, if it is blank, so it seems that they didn't achieve this goal. So this is all about traceability metrics. Hope you like this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.